the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. Yes, we going, we going. Boxingvoice.com here with Andrew Tabidi. Um, so the first thing, uh, you know, that, that we're looking at is uh, you you haven't fought since uh, the Mayweather McGregor undercard back in August. Yeah. Um, so when's your next fight and what, why has it been taking so long? Um, I don't know why it's taking so long, but um, we, you know, we're looking forward um, May 19th, sometime in May, hopefully on the Badu Jack and um, Stevenson court. So that's, what we look, that's where our eyes are open on. And, um, hopefully we get it. Nice, and so you don't you don't have an an opponent lined up right now, right? I know opponent lined up. Yeah. But that's just a tentative date. Yeah, it's a tentative date. Yeah. So um, the main thing though that we wanted your take on was the the was it the World Boxing Super Series that's been yeah. going on? Uh, they're in the finals now. Have you been watching it? Yeah, I have. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So uh, how do you think you might do against uh, you know the winner of one of those or even the losers of of the finals? Uh, I got it's uh. How do you say his name? You, you use it. You yeah. say, you use it. And, and Gasev, um, uh, that's a lot of titles on the line. Do you want a shot at one of those guys? You think you're ready for a title shot? Yeah, you know, um, I'm in top ten, so yeah, I might as well just you know go for it. You know, um, I believe in myself, and that's all. You know, that's all it takes. You have to believe in yourself. and have the heart to do it, and um, anything is possible. Um, I think I think I'm very athletic, and um, you know, what I'm saying I think I'm uh, I, I'm proven as a fighter, so. You know, hey, if I believe, as long as I believe in myself, I believe I can do it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, that's definitely one of the things that we've seen. You're one of the fastest yeah. cruiserweights we've seen. Do you, I mean, do you think that's like that can handle uh, those fighters in particular? Yeah, that's um, that's, that's definitely be trouble. You know, just being athletic, being very fast, and um, that's something I have. Um, I have, uh, you know, God-given speed. You know, and um, the athleticism I have, and you know, go, it take it take me far away. You know, I haven't took no uh, punishment, and um. You know, these guys, they tough. Um, Gassiev, he's very hard. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, very good fighter. He's also young, too. But, um, you know, I, I believe I believe he can be outboxed. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Yusik, I feel like he's a lot more difficult fighter, you know, because he's southpaw, um, awkward punches. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but I've I seen I seen some I seen some um, couple fights that he didn't look too good um, when he fought in America. You know, um, I see that he don't really like body shots too much. And um, he, also, he also gets tired, too. But um, you know, these guys they just human. A human just like anybody else, they can yeah. be beat. And you know, as long as you believe in yourself, you work hard, you know, I can win. So how do you position yourself to get those guys in the ring with you? Or even like say Huck, who's still a big name. How do you get yourself in a position to, you know, have them want to be in the ring with you? What do you need to do to get there? Um, I don't know. We just we had to talk to Floyd and uh, I think Floyd can make anything happen. It just if you will, you know, um, I, I, he's uh, he's trying his best for me. Yeah, you know, it's also it's, it's also a business too. It's um, different promoters, different different things. You know, some some people might not want to fight because they might want they might not want to take the take the risk. You know, for the low reward. Yeah, you know? and I mean, boxing is complicated because yeah. every single fighter is their own individual business, yeah. and you're essentially making a business deal with another business owner. So I, I understand that, but. Right. Would you be willing to fight those guys over the seas? Because some of them are they're selling out arenas and stuff like that. If there's a lot of money, would you would you be willing to go over there? And um, that's that's the conflict too. You know, um, you know, I have, I'm under promotion. They want to protect me too. So you know, fighting in Russia a lot. You know, fighting other overseas, which uh, which you know, on Marco Holt case, it been a lot of robberies. A lot of guys that he had fought um, that actually beat him. But they also they still gave him the um, the victory. So Marco yeah. Hoke, I in my my um in my opinion, I feel like that's one guy shouldn't have been in the um in the World Boxing Series. But you know you can put him in World Boxing Series because he has a good name. But one of them Cubans, uh, I think one of the Cubans I think is Mike Perez. He only fought one cru he only fought one cruiserweight, which nobody knew he's a bum. You know he came from heavyweight for one cruise when getting got in the world boxing series they which had two cubans in there they should have, they should put at least an american in there mm -hmm. you know which was me or maybe someone else yeah you know, but you know hey whatever so, <laughs> so i mean uh, again it's risk and reward yeah is it worth the risk of the chance with the you know the judges who are swayed by the hometown crowd or whatever it might be is that something you'd be willing to with risk going over there 
Yeah, I'm willing to risk it. Um, also, um, you know, it has, it has, the reward has to be good. We, you know, we have to we have to get paid good. You know, we have to, everything has to be, you know, it, everything has to be good for us. You know, um, Floyd, he know what he's doing. You know, I have, I have a good management, so you know, we just we just doing the right things. You know, you know, it's, it's, it's about taking the right steps, and that's one thing Floyd is good at. So you know, it's, that's something he's he's putting onto his fighters that we have to take the make the right moves. That's what we're doing. Nice. Uh, that's awesome, man. Well. Hoping to see you in the ring with any of those guys, even yeah. the guys that have lost, even Marco Hook, who you feel has, you know, been on the gift side of the decisions. But yeah. that'd be great to see you against any of them. But yeah. if you don't what mind, what is up, TBV family? Yes, yes. YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late, and with net neutrality uh, going through its process, the internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to Patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.